hello beautiful people i hope you are all fine so in this video we will learn that how we can integrate chat gpt in the react application so let's get started okay so first of all uh, we will see what we have in our code uh, we have this simple uh, application react application and we have this route in which there is a component it is chat okay in the chat uh, chat component uh, we have simple input here and uh, this is the send button and uh, uh, this is a way where we will we will display our response and uh, this file where we will save our gpt key I will tell you that uh, how we will get it. Okay, so we have this uh, simple component, and whenever we will click on the send button, so we must get our response. So this is the handle uh, handle send. Uh, this time we have nothing; we have just simple text. So let's go to our uh, browser. So for example, we will we will add. Uh, any of the response uh, any of the text and message here and we will send and our response will display here so we uh, uh, we have to uh, integrate the chat chat gpt api in our react application okay so first of all we need to install the xs package so that we can call the api key npm i xs So until it is installing, so we will go and we will see that how we will get the API key. Uh, we will go in this uh, website. I will show you. Uh, I will paste it in the description. You can get it from there. Uh, you will go in this site. You will sign up and get the API key. And after that, as you will get the API key, so you will save here anywhere you can save you can save in env file or anywhere else uh, but i will save it in config file so i already get the api i will paste my key here so this is the api key we have we will access it in our uh, access package so that we can get the responses from chat gpt Okay, so our XJS package has been installed. We will import it here. I will tell you one more thing that we can use fetch as well. If you don't want to use the XJS, you can use the fetch. So uh, when when someone will click on handle send button, so we will call an API. For this time, we will uh, implement it because we don't need. And now we will say we always need to need to use the try and catch so that we can handle the errors. And we will here you use response, and we should use async await so we will make this function async and we will use it here await axios and we will open the curly braces so we will add the url we actually need a url uh, where we can hit the chat gpt to get the responses this is the endpoint we will where we will hit then we have headers and headers we will use uh, content type will be application json and authorization in authorization we will use bearer because we have bearer token and uh, we will use the chat gpt key here 
so let's import it mm, i hope it will import automatically okay so we have imported here and this is our chat gpt key and now we need to send the body or data okay and in data we have to first of all send model id which model we will use i will show you which models we have if we talk about the models we have these models uh, we have chat gpt4 because this is a paid and more intelligent and and the complex and uh, good for complex works and we have chat gpt mini we have chat gpt 3.5 it is all depends on your needs so you can change accordingly uh, in this uh, method we will use this one because this is more faster chat gpt 4.0 GPT mini four zero actually it is four oh not zero mini and then next we have to send the message first of all we will send messages uh, for this time leave it empty uh, we will send it later and then temperature temperature will be one actually this is used for that uh, how randomized our response will be uh, if we will increase it then uh, our response will be uh, a bit uh, creative but uh, there are more chances of uh, sending the false so uh, it its range is 0 to 3 now uh, but we will keep it 1 so that uh, our uh, calculations and the response must be true and not too much created and not too much randomized so this is the best number not 0 not 2 uh, but 1 is enough and then top p it is also same uh, these two work samely and max tokens uh, actually this parameter uh, and define that how long our response will be if we will increase our tokens then our response will be larger and if we will reduce then our response will be shorter so it it's all depend on the budget and need uh, so we will use uh, 2448 um, i think this is the best and after that uh, we will go to the messages we can define our messages that uh, what we want to create from our chat gpt so let's call it message it will be an array because we we will have to send two messages okay number one is role it will be user and content will be empty for now we will add it and the other will be role will be system content and we will add our prompt okay so uh, we have to understand first uh, the system the the role system mean that uh, what you want to act like and at our chat gpt like for example uh, we can we can make our chat gpt as a doctor we can make uh, our chat gpt as a book writer or novel writer we can make anything uh, in this uh, in this say that uh, in this in our case so it is generic so we can uh, we can uh, write our prompt like that our system is generic or wherever actually it's your area that you can play with it with these prompts so we can write you are a an information hub and provide information as much we want okay and uh, these are the messages from the user 
so we will add our uh, this question to use it like uh, question will be here and uh, we will use it we can use it inside also let's use it inside the function okay we have question so we will pass it here in the messages okay after that we will uh, console our response console dot log response dot data and we can log the errors as, as well error and okay i think all set and we have chat gpt key mini okay messages temperature and the max tokens okay let's uh, let's see what we have in our console okay what is your name and we will hit here let's see what we have I think we need to refresh it first. What is your name? Okay, the error. I think we need to refresh first. Okay. Oh, okay, we have uh, the response now. Uh, let's see in the console okay we have choices you you need to pick the choices the choice one the message and this content so this uh, this response we need so what we will use now so we will see that uh, After the response, we will get the message first. Choices and we need to use the choice zero and then we can see that okay we have choices we have one we have the message message and dot content so we have this message and we will set it here And we will save our message here. Okay. Let's check that we have something working fine. Close your day today. Okay, I appreciate your query. I'm here and ready to assist you and with them. Okay, this is working great. Uh, let's ask something more and we play it can you help me to write code okay of course oh that that's working great so you can see that uh, this is how we have integrated the chat gpt in our react application it was really great now you can play uh, you can also create an array in which you can uh, attach multiple responses and multiple answers and it will be it will work same like uh, the chat gpt i hope you like the video and if you really like thank you, uh, then you can uh, subscribe the channel and you can like the video thank you